Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today, taking pre-order still on the Outlaw Rampage Pro from Kyosho. So if you guys want to check that one out, I'll put a link in the description for all these cars that I talk about. Also want to kind of touch on uh, if you guys are into Nitro, uh, hit me up on it. Um, the Inferno GT3 Nitro. It's a 110 scale. It's a kit. Uh, they sell for like $5.99, but let me know. I'll give you a little bit better deal on it. So uh, I'll put a link in the description in regards to that one. Also, as far as the Rage 2.0, um, if you guys are looking for one of those as well, I got a red one. Um, they're not they're not fast movers as far as that Rage 2.0, so it's kind of been hanging around for a little bit. So I just figured I'd let you guys know in regards to that one. But getting over to one of my favorite cars right now is this uh, 1970 Chevelle SS 454 thing looks awesome they did an amazing job as far as with the body on this from a uh, kyosho so just taking a look at this one here it's like man that looks good if those bricks were smaller you'd almost think it's like just a real car um yeah they did a heck of a job on it now it's using the mk2 new chassis so that's their new phaser chassis and it, it's a good chassis man uh i would say only thing i would recommend especially if you were looking to go faster is that we need to get the uh, aluminum drive shaft and it's not out as of yet but hopefully that should be out soon because I've already talked to my dealer I'm from Kyosho America and he let me know that you know it's in the works so hopefully they'll get that soon it would be cool if they would have done that like at the same time as when they were making these like hey we're gonna these are the parts that we need to do to, for some upgrades but anyway that enough on that one so yeah 229 for this thing only taking limited supply on these as of right now because these things are gonna go super quick when it comes to you know Kyosho selling out of them so if you want one let me know now because uh, they're not gonna last long um, also as far as the Dodge Charger thing is like the Duke boys man so it's pretty cool. Again, it's using that same uh, chassis and everything like that. I believe it's the same wheels also on there. Now, if you didn't see my other video before on this is since this is the new Phaser chassis, MK2 chassis, what have you, uh, I got this thing up to 37 miles an hour on the Dodge Hellcat. And uh, now, just an FYI, don't run that thing on 3S for very much, you know, very long at all, uh, because it's going to burn up the motor. It's not that motor is not designed to be on 11.1 volts. It's really designed to be on 7.4 volts, 7.2 volts if you're going to run a nickel uh, metal hydride battery. But on a lipo battery, you know, a 2S is is fine. I'm going to guess on the 2S you're running somewhere right around that, you know, anywhere anywhere around like that mid 20 miles an hour. That would be my guess. Um, I did notice on my car that uh, you know as far as the rotors hitting the the the, the caliper. That, uh, you know, it kind of rubs on there a little bit. And so if you're looking to kind of make it a little bit quicker, you might want to take the rotors off uh, so you can make it a little bit quicker just because of the little bit of resistance on that one. I don't know. I just saw mine rubbing a little bit too. But uh, not a big deal anyway on that part of it because it looks cool. Um, plastics uh, pinion gear that's in there, you know, just to save a little bit of weight and I'm sure as far as cost on it too. But it is a nice vehicle, nonetheless. Uh, it's a nice chassis, and it takes a lot of bumps pretty pretty nice, anyhow. You know, you got aluminum cap shocks and everything like that, too, so that's nice on that part of it. And it's a pretty smooth-running vehicle. Um, I do like the gear mesh that they do have on here, too. So that's a nice little setup there. So you can go from a 29-tooth pinion gear all the way up to a 37 pinion gear. I believe, what's the stock one? A 32. So a stock, the setting right now is 32, so you can go to a 37. And uh, I think I ran mine. I just left it at stock as of right now. Um, and like I did, like I said, it went 37 miles an hour, completely stock, but 3s lipo. So anyway, just kind of give you a heads up on that one. I'm also doing a promotion because this is kind of all old school stuff. Now this the Cloudbuster came out like in the 1980s, I think late 80s, 87, something like that around that time. Um, it's kind of hits close to home because my uh, my friend's dad had one, and I was like, oh man. And it looks so massive compared to our little cars or whatever at the time. Or just because, you know, when you're smaller, everything looks larger anyhow. So I was like, oh, man, that thing is so cool. So I ended up getting one, and I figured I'm going to throw you guys a deal anyhow. So if you're looking for one, you know, 412 is the price. But as of right now, I'll throw a promo code in there, and uh, it's going to save you 50 bucks. So if you guys have been on the fence on that one, you're like, oh, I'd really like to get one. But, you know, I don't want to really, you know, there's a lot of other cars that are, you know, less, 
you know, at that price point. And I get that part of it, but, you know, if you're looking for something, you know, something different, then this is definitely a cool truck anyhow. And I'll have it on the channel here and, you know, maybe in the next week or so once it comes in. And, uh, you know, I like it. So it's definitely a cool truck. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for now. So I've got eight of those things left here. And uh, also talk to HPI. Well, I didn't. I talked to message them and kind of bad deal right now with HPI. Um, you know, they're looking for another buyer at this point in time because uh, I asked them about the, uh, what is it, the Jump Shot 2.0. It's like, hey, can you send me some or something like that? It's like at this point in time because, uh, you know, business deals, we can't we can't ship anything, you know, to the states or anything like that. So we're they're all pretty much locked up. Even my my distributor HRP, they are pretty much everything's kind of running dry on their website. So that's a bummer on that part. So it says things will be in in September, but obviously at this point in time, if no one buys anything or no one, if this business goes bad, then uh, you know it could be goodbye for HPI. So hopefully, someone buys them up and uh, turns it around, and you know keeps them going because i would like to have the jump shot 2.0 it looks promising and it looked pretty cool a nice price point anyway so that's going to wrap it up i hope you guys enjoyed the video appreciate you guys always giving those comments down below let me know what you want and you definitely want to go ahead and subscribe to our um our website at omgrc.com uh do that because there's promotions that we do every so often we don't flood you with a bunch of you know mail and everything like that probably need to actually flood you a little bit because we don't even do much so as of right now it's a lot of work uh, not really, but, uh, you know, just trying to figure out what's going to be a good promotional item. You guys can let me know, too, so you can always check us out uh, by the brands. Like, oh, you, you carry all these, so if there's something that you don't see, let me know. Like, Habao, we got a lot of stuff that we don't have on the website, but we can definitely get it. Even Hobby Wing stuff. Hobby Wing got new motors, man. So they're running, they got motors that are running on 8S power, which is awesome now. Uh, like an 800 kV motor, 1100 kV motor. Uh, those are going to be 8S systems. And also they have, a, I think it's like a 1600 or something like that. Anyway, it's going to be an 8S or a 6S system. Somewhere right around there. So the two lower ones, 1100 and the 800, were um, going to be the 8S system. So that's pretty awesome. They came out with that. Hobby Wings got good stuff. So anyway, until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care and thank you for watching.